Welcome to episode 3 of Kerala Through My Eyes. This episode is all about the unexplored island of Kakaturuthu, living in a homestay, local expeditions and wandering off on foot to experience the land of Kerala through my soul. We took off from Munnar to head towards our next destination. It took us a few hours, so we had to make a pit stop to eat one of the best fish dishes I've ever had in my entire life. One of the most nicest things I've eaten on this trip. Piyush. Mm. So this is the place where we ate our lunch. This is Mount Park Inn. Great food, I must say. Uh, right now, we are now headed to... Where are we going now? Kakaturta. Kak we are going to Kakaturta. And uh, we are three hours away. We are three hours away. And uh, it's been such a long journey. We've been traveling the whole day. But we've got to reach our next destination, which is going to be so beautiful. And I think today, day was just about food. So let's go. A boat ride at any travel destination gives a different perspective always, doesn't it? We are headed to Kakaturta. That's an island here in the Alapi district. Uh, and we're taking a boat. A small yeah. one. F five minutes with an engine. If it is not with, a, with an engine, if he is rowing, it will take 30 minutes. If he's going to row the boat 30 minutes with the engine, five minutes. We are now in the boat towards Kakaturka, which means island of crows. Uh, I think Kaka means crows and Turta means island. Turta means island, right? Yeah, Turta means island. Turta means island. This is such a scenic view. It reminds me so much of Goa, but in a very different way. You know, the, the vibe of a place is actually established by its people. And I think that is why Kerala is so much different than Goa, even though the landscapes are so similar. I think it's the people that makes a place different. And after a 5 to 10 minutes ride, we reached the property we were going to stay at called Kayal Island Resort. After such a long journey, we are finally here. I cannot wait to eat some stuff, maybe like a coffee or some nice chai. And uh, Alex, our guide, told us that he would get us banana fritters. I just hope it happens. By the time we reached, the sun had already set and the weather was gloomy because of the rains. But nevertheless, it was beautiful. I've been a tropical girl always, so the landscape here made me feel so much like I'm at home. And we celebrated the sunset with some chai and banana fritters. After a nice bath, I joined the ladies at the homestay in the kitchen to watch what they were cooking. When you come to Kerala, getting involved in the local food is really exciting. The flavours are unmatched and lets you experience Kerala in its finest way. So oh, this is the soup and this is pumpkin soup that we've made. I have not made it. Made it. <laughs> I'm enjoying all the foods that we are having here. Like every time we're having a meal, it's something different. We've had so many different kinds of soups. I mean, this is a very usual soup, but still, it's exciting. It's a very well planned uh, menu every time we eat. Wow, this looks so good. This is my plate. All the veggies. This is uh, pineapple. Yes. Oh, it's 
pineapple prepared like a vegetable that's a pineapple pickle pineapple pickle yeah because it has masala then it has like curry patta so i thought it's a vegetable this is a uh, cabbage and this is your bindi and i'm so tempted to eat with my hands because i love eating with my hands but i have like my nail extensions on so i can't and they'll get stained but now we don't have any curry on it so it's okay this is the special uh kerala rice i it's actually like a rice that's eaten in many south indian states also because i remember eating this even in mangalore we used to have this rice and it's really like fat mm it's very different this is i think uh, dal yum even the dal is so good what is this good morning from kakatirutu this is one place i really want you to visit when you come to kerala But we're a little upset because um, our plans are getting ruined. In the morning, we were supposed to take a boat ride and uh, watch the views here. And also after this, we were supposed to do a village tour, like just walking and like interacting with the locals and stuff. But it's raining like all the time, so we can't really like step out. Well, it was raining. but that didn't stop us from having a lovely breakfast with the sound of the rains so this is uh, the second time i'm having puttu actually this is chana and this is puttu and i liked it a lot the last time i had it, it it's it's very interesting i think it's so much like idli if you're having it for the first time but i think it's so much i i like the consistency more of puttu than idli okay so this is how you have it you just add the chana right it looks like this chana yeah you add the chana on it and this banana and boiled banana you add banana also to it this one boiled one i would love to eat this with my hands but i would love to eat it with my hands like my meals so good also so healthy i actually love south indian food because it's you know it's also so healthy to have any time of the day so i just realized you're supposed to also smash it in the puttu little clueless here it's boiled banana it's steamed steamed yeah. very nice they say that you must enjoy your present moment so i did a little dance in the rain as well And here's a little tour of the room I stayed in. Such a cute little one with an open bathroom. So we are on day five of our trip, and it's been raining non-stop. What can we do though? Like, uh, cannot stop nature. And I think the best way to accept these situations, especially when you're traveling, is just accepting it and just enjoying it. I'm loving the rains actually. I'm loving the. calmness of this whole island uh, like i said we are on uh, kaka kakaturta island which means island of crows and uh, we are staying in this beautiful property called uh, kayal retreat and it's so nice it's so serene 
even though the past two days we stayed in really like premium properties i think this one so simple so nice and so it's just perfect And then we head out on a little village tour with her, which was the most beautiful experience on this island. So it's been, I think, 15 minutes. We've been on the boat, and uh, all you see around us is paradise because it's not sunny. It's drizzling a little bit, and uh, there's water all around us. There's birds chirping. And it's, it's just nice. It's a really nice experience. I think uh, boat rides are one of my favorites. I think we also did this in Varanasi and it was just so peaceful just to be on a boat and not do anything. <laughs> do you know, I have not worn slippers. I've come without slippers because I don't have rubber slippers. Woo! I did not predict the weather here, so I don't have anything in like rubber and my uh, footwear might get like spoiled. So, but I'm okay with like walking bare feet. I actually love walking bare feet. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think it just, you know this thing called grounding, right? It just keeps us so connected uh, with the earth, with nature, and you can feel every step that you take. Moili moili. He's, he's collecting it for his rabbits. Oh wow. Yeah. Moili moili. Moili? Yeah. Moili means rabbits. Yeah. Moili. Moili. Yeah. Moili. Moili. yeah. Moili. <laughs> he has rabbits? Yeah. Moili. Moili. He's got about 14 of them. Wow. Wow. Huh? Yeah. This is what he's doing. This is what he's doing. Our kishtano. Mm. It's a particular kind of uh, leaf that they like, rabbits. Okay. Um, so he washes it and he cuts it up and then gives it to them. So what we see here is the Bhagwati temple. Uh, which is goddess Kali and they believe that she protects this island. So Kerala, because um, we were a jungle, we used to have lots of uh, snakes. So when farmers moved in, they cut the forest and they dedicated one part of the um, house for snakes. Okay. And so we always have a snake shrine and we worship them. Mm -hmm. wow. So one thing I love about traveling especially to the different states of uh, India and even abroad, you know, is to learn languages and uh, I think that's when you get the actual feel of being in a place. So I've learned a little bit of Malayalam. Uh, I actually had a Malayali um, neighbor and uh, that's how I know a few words here and there like Nai Pucha <laughs> and uh, Chorunda and um, the things I've learned here is Sugamano means uh, how are you? And the reply to it is Sugam, means I'm good. Uh, also, one more thing I learned today is Yenda Cheyana, means what are you doing? Yenda means what? Are you doing means Cheyana. So, if I live for a few more months here, I will speak very fluently, just saying. <laughs> After a lovely walk in the village, we head back to the Kayal Island Resort, our homestay and left out for our next destination. I will never ever forget Manisha and the amazing staff at this homestay. In fact, I plan to visit soon and experience a slow paced stay. This was one of my best stays. I love homestays and this is a very, I think, um, very, it's a very uh, 
nice experience when especially when you are the only people on the island not in the island but in the um, homestay you know i think that's what made it so special and here are some photos from the kakaturudu island and a lovely homestay that you cannot miss Coming up in the next episode is one of Kerala's most famous spots called Munro Island and then again our experience with the yummy sadhya see you in the next episode